my father. No! Hey guys, today I thought I'd share something special with you. I've had a ton of requests to do a collection video. Uh, I've done a collection video a few years ago and it just took so long to uh, make that video. Uh, dragging everything out of storage and trying to video it, it just, uh, it just took too long. So I thought that I'd do something just a little bit different today and uh, share what I have displayed in my home. Uh, like I said, I've had a lot of people to ask me to do a collection video, but the one that was most persistent was Stu Murray 47. If you not guys are not familiar with Stu Murray 47, super nice guy, has a great YouTube channel. Uh, in my opinion, he's got the world's largest Superman collection. That's what I'm saying. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Stu Murray 47, be sure to check him out. There'll be a link in the description. Okay, I went back and reshot this video. Uh, this will be the third go around, I'm trying to shorten the length of it. Uh, it was just too long, I thought. Uh, I know a lot of people enjoy watching collection videos. It's, uh, But I don't know. I just couldn't I couldn't keep it under 30 minutes, so I went back and cut a lot of stuff out. And here you can take a look at it. Like I said, I went through a lot of stuff really quick. But uh, I just thought I'd share with you what I have on display in my home. Sit back and relax. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Okay, up first is my 7-foot tall... Uh, curio cabinet that I keep here in the living room. Uh, so let's take a quick look at this. Okay on top uh, there's a couple of figures that I've added in here but the majority of this was a battle pack an indoor battle pack. And this shelf is uh, all of my loose uh, Kenner Vintage figures. And this shelf is, uh, my intent originally was just to keep uh, all of the uh, white based troopers, but I quickly ran out of room, so I had to add a, uh, I had to start adding, adding other figures also, uh, which I've actually went back and uh, thinned out the herd, so to speak, on some Star Wars stuff and Marvel Universe, especially Marvel Universe. Here's the, uh, the majority of this is the uh, from the vintage collection. Uh, just a lot of more modern figures also. And uh, here's uh, some Clone Wars figures. I've got rid of uh, quite a few of those. I just don't have room to uh, to keep everything out on display. Okay, let's go take a look at my robot collection. Okay, here's my pride and joy out of uh, my whole collection. I've always said that the Shogun Warrior line is my favorite and it uh, still remains that to this day. And uh, here you can take a quick look at uh, some of the die cast robots and uh, monsters that I have out on display. Uh, there's a few of the boxes. There's Godzilla. I'd have to say that this is probably the rarest thing that I own from the Shogun Warrior line. It's uh, really hard to find and really expensive when it comes up on eBay. 
and uh, here's the die cast robots the die cast Voltron Ultraman and uh, that's my wife's bumblebee she's a Transformers fan and there is uh, some hand sketches that uh, illustrator Brian Ashmore did for me my Shogun Warriors the transform invader Big Voltron out of the way here. There's the uh, the rare bowgun accessory. That's the second, excuse me, third version Raiden, and that's the second version. And there's the uh, the big Voltron. And there's my giant. Vader and Superman. I guess Vader's his bodyguard. <laughs> and uh, there's where I keep my ATAT. -AT. Okay, and just right here is the only Detolf case that I own. And on top, I've got a uh, speeder that Devil's Toys UK2 sent me. And I'm going to insert a uh, clip here and let you look at the difference. That I took out for this uh, when I cleaned out for the uh, Marvel Universe uh, before and after. And here is a uh, scene that I built a while back, a year or two maybe, a Tatooine scene. And here's a uh, Jabba scene that I keep up here in this case. I also have one downstairs. We'll take a look at that in a few minutes. Here's the uh, ranker with a Luke and a ranker keeper. Okay, so that's that. Next, I guess we'll take a trip downstairs. Okay, here we are downstairs in the basement. And here's one of the uh, shelving units that I have. Uh, on top, I've just got some carded. Uh, Hot Wheels. That's a mall that I painted. Some Legos. And a. This is actually a Reveal or Reveal Snap Together model kit. That's uh, that's pretty neat right there. I don't think I've ever showed that before. And here's some of my die cast uh, planes. The Tailwinds collection. And over here is some of the uh, the die cast monster trucks. There's a Superman, fire truck, Spider Man, the Batman. And here's the uh, the Jaws Palace scene I keep downstairs. And there's the uh, custom painted job that Ethan Angel 2220 did for me. And here's the uh, Cantina scene. I'm actually missing a couple figures in here. I take this cantina scene upstairs a lot to take pictures with it and I've misplaced a few of the figures. I know that the Han Solo and Chewbacca 
And look, a few of them's missing, so uh, I should be able to find them. There's the oversized Yoda. And these are some of the Power of the Force globe sets. These are pretty neat. The, uh, the girls seem to enjoy these. And there is uh, some popcorn tins and micro machine play sets. And uh, some more metal tins. Okay, over here on top of my mini bar is the. Uh, it's just a shelf that's got a lot of different things on it. There's my vinyl Vader. And there is the 12 inch uh, Tauntaun. That thing is a monster. Very nice. It's, it's detailed really nice to be a 12 inch uh, scale figure. There's the Hoth Luke. My record, Star Wars record, there's a. Some more Tom Tons. There's a scale for that one. That's how big that one is. And there's a uh, pack that uh, Left at Fussball 70 sent me one year for Christmas. And a few bikes. Just real quick over here is uh, some vintage liquor bottles with the Hunting and Fishing series. Uh, I don't drink anymore, but uh, I do have quite a few of those. I'm not for sure why I'm showing these. Oh, the oh yeah, I've got a few Star Wars glasses here too. The old promotional series from Burger King. Those are pretty neat. If you ever run across them, don't ever pass them up. Next room over, I've just got a uh, few things on this top shelf. All those are vintage vehicles. Those came from Alicons One. I really like, enjoy the Doctor Who stuff. And there's my custom. Uh, sand crawler that I built and a few uh, tin puzzles, metal puzzles. And there hangs my vintage Millennium Falcon and TIE Bomber. And uh, there's a, a transformer that the budget Jedi sent me one year for Christmas. Now this is my wife's collection. I thought I would show this to you too. Uh, she enjoys Star Wars but she doesn't collect uh, a lot of the different characters, she just enjoys them more or less the main characters, I guess. The Princess Leia's and the Yoda's and the Darth Vader. And uh, I'm guessing we all might might need to get used to looking at this. <laughs> Star Wars Disney. And uh, yeah. And there is a gem in both of our collection. I found this at a flea market a while back. Actually a couple of years ago. This R2K T. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with this story, Google this and look this up. It's, a, it's very sad uh, about this little girl with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and the 501st Legion. But uh, I, I guess some really some good came out of the Make-A-Wish. But uh, that right there is a uh, is a nice addition to her collection. And here's a few of the 12-inch figures. Uh, she actually has the uh, this one right here is pretty neat. This actually opens up to like a mini diorama. And there's uh, that Vader and C3PO and Han Solo. And uh, she actually keeps a couple of her Fisher Price things here also. Okay, that's it. I know the lighting throughout the house was, you know, not the greatest at times, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and especially you, Steve Murray 47. Uh, you got the world's largest Superman collection, but you still need a Darth Vader in your collection. <laughs> okay, guys, let me know back what you think, and uh, even in a video response. I know Google, for some reason, uh, canceled the video responses, but you can always just make a video and uh, say some response to mine. Uh, just let me know back what you think. So guys, I really do appreciate everybody watching. If you got any comments or questions, just post them and I'll answer them the best that I can. And that's all I have today for my collection.